Well, hello everyone out in YouTube, YouTube land. Um, this is uh, yet another installment in uh, my uh, video series about the arcane, confusing electoral college situation. But after a while, you get you get the hang of it. It's not that difficult. Um, um, but oh, it's it's been such a horrible two weeks for John McCain and. And his vice president pick, uh, Sarah McCain, Sarah McCain, Sarah McPalin, Mc, McPalin. Um, oh, yeah, you know the bridge to nowhere, and I tanks, but no tanks, but tanks, but no tanks. But I'll take some money. I think, uh, I think I was for it, then I was against it. Yes, and then we had the. Um, well, we still have, uh, we still have the huge, uh, the well, the huge, potentially huge, ongoing crisis. Uh, and a and a potential recession, of course, uh, because um, the jobless numbers are keep going up. And uh, oh, I'm throwing in here pictures of the Great Depression for you younger, you young people out there don't know how bad it's been in the past. Uh, yeah, we we went through a enormous recession. Boy, would it last a decade? From 1930, no, the crash was in 1929. Oh, here's a the crash was in 1929, and they finally got out of the began to get out of the recession during World War II. Uh, and I'm showing you pictures of the road to nowhere. That previous picture was a road to nowhere, which was starting, which is being built to the bridge to nowhere, which is not going to be built. That makes a lot of sense. That's Sarah Palin in Alaska, doing the people's business. Um, I'll get to the Electoral College at the end of this. I'm taking pot shots. I'm taking cheap shots at Sarah Palin, having a lot of fun here, because she just, that Katie Couric interview is just, uh, wow, Woo. frightening how little Sarah Palin knows or how incompetent she would be. I think, she, listen, you, you people out there, I think she knows less then George Bush knows. <laughs> if, if, if I don't want to scare you too much. I don't want to frighten you too much, or you know, spoil your whole month. But I think that Sarah Palin knows less about the world in general than George Bush knew when he came into office in two thousand. In two thousand, and George Bush, of course, knew very little. Very, very. He he'd gone to Mexico, I believe. Maybe he hadn't. He didn't gone to Canada yet. Nope, he hadn't gone to Niagara Falls. Oh, I'm joking. Okay, here is the funky map of the Electoral College, which shows the state's electoral votes. Uh, how do you say it? By their area, their um, area. Uh, oh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, that they take up on this. So, so the electoral. Uh, votes the bigger states with more electoral votes have a, are shown bigger here on this map and the small you can see those small red states here out even though they're big geographically or have so few electoral votes it you can see New York is big California is big Florida is big um, but the latest news here I'll get, come to the latest news of course with all this bad news about Sarah Palin. Um, and the recession. Um, look, well, here's the new map. This is the new. This is the map of as of today, which I copied. Uh, Michigan is now in the blue category. Wisconsin is in the blue category. Minnesota. They finally wised up in Minnesota. It is dark blue. Dark blue. It's no longer a swing state. I think it was classified as a swing state um, a couple of days ago. Oh wait. Okay, uh, Pennsylvania is now in the Obama category. Ohio is now leaning Obama. It had been leaning McCain. Uh, Virginia, still leaning Obama. Uh, North Carolina, now North Carolina is classified as a toss-up. And the other change, uh, Florida... Florida now is leaning Obama. It had been, actually, if the polls are correct, it's quite a turnaround in Florida. 
Wow. Um, well, maybe I should spend a little bit more time. I may do a second video on this. There's lots of changes in this map. Uh, Colorado, uh, well, Colorado slipped back a little bit. It's, now it's only leaning Obama. Nevada now leaning, uh, leaning Obama. Okay, well, let me, I may do this in a two-parter. This might be a cliffhanger. I may do another one. Okay.